I'm gonna show you some more of the things that I use for making dreamers. Those are my little drawings. But for dreamers, I also, I couldn't just put drawings uh, on, on pieces of tracing paper for my book. I was gonna make um, final art. Final art can be made with anything. And I decided that for dreamers, I was gonna make the art by using drawings, but I was gonna make them with, um, I was gonna do the outline with ink, ink on paper. And I'm gonna show you, I have some of those drawings here. Like I told you, I have all these folders when I keep things. And this is a drawing. I made my drawing first and the tracing paper, and it was very little, like I showed you before. We learn about everything that we decide to put in a book. We learn about the theme, about who we are, about our strength, and we also learn about the things that are not easy for us. Um, like sometimes I don't feel like I know how to draw, but through the book I continue learning. And you see, this is my drawing. Like I said, first I make a small drawing. It was little, it was just my guideline. But eventually I needed to make artwork that will go in a book. So I started making drawings more refined right here. And you might see this is ink on paper and I made some mistakes. And I don't know if that happens to you, like when you are using ink, it's very easy that a, a drop of ink just blah, just falls in the paper and you feel like, oh my goodness, now it's drawing. Well, in my case, um, it's not drawing yet. Um, and this drawing is gonna require still a lot of work. This is just the beginning. So and this is my drawing and you might be able to see where this drawing is gonna become. And do you see this? It's just the beginning of the drawing. And what happens is that it doesn't have any color yet. And for dreamers, as on uh, some of my other books, I decided I was gonna make it in my computer. So how I was gonna make it in my computer, I took a photograph of this in a machine is called a scanner. And that scanner allows that photograph to go inside of my computer. I also took some pictures just with my, with my phone, with my camera, and I put all those photographs inside of my computer. So what I do is that I create something that's called a palette. I'll leave that, I think that's how you pronounce it in English. And that palette is as if I had physically a place, a box that where I could put colors on it. And if I had a brush, I would have dipped my brush right in there and I would have used it to paint it. But instead I did that palette inside of my computer. I do have programs that act as if I had a, a physical brush and my brush here is, in my computer, my brush looks like this. Um, and my colors and my textures are photographs of things that are important to me. For dreamers, I wanted my photographs to be significant and those colors to be significant of things that were part of my process of learning how to be an immigrant because I was an immigrant too. I came to the United States when I was a new mom and that's why I created Dreamers is inspired in my story. Although it to me it is as if that mom and that baby is not necessarily me. It is inspired in many mothers and many babies and many families who have come to the United States. And what I use is I use my own experience because it's one that I know very well um, to create that book. So I could put in there the feelings that I had when I had just immigrated, like when I felt confused, uh, when I didn't know something. I know how it feels that. So I wanted to put those, put those feelings inside of Dreamers. Some of the other things that I created colors from is like crepe paper. Do you have crepe paper on your, on your classroom? Um, you can make, you can use crepe paper to make paper flowers. I love making paper flowers, so I always have crepe paper with me. And what I did is once more using my scanner, which is like a, like a camera. It's, a, it's an upper, a, a machine that acts like a camera. It takes a picture of the paper if I put the paper on top of it. And then I can use those colors and those textures to add them to my drawings. Uh, inside of my computer, I uh, also took photographs 
of these shiny fabrics and see when we are reading dreamers see if you can find where i might have used these these fabrics to paint let's see once more i'm gonna show you here is um the uh, spanish version soñadores and i don't know if you can start seeing some colors that look like this fabric because i use photographs of this fabric to paint those images um let's see i have many things here and that i want to show you in i have also some paintings because i also make paintings on paper just like this i took a piece of paper and then i painted these clouds and once more, I took a photograph with my scanner of these clouds and I then I had them in my computer and I was able to put them inside some of the, let's see if we can find one image where there are lots of clouds. And if you have the book there, you might be able to uh, eventually see more of them, more of them. And here are some clouds and you see them right here. And they don't look exactly like that, do you see? Because when I put them in my computer, I'm still gonna have to do more work. It doesn't just go straight like that and it's like if it was a sticker. What I do is I put it inside of my computer and I take those textures and those, um, the, the colors and I start reworking and redrawing rather but rather than doing it right here outside like i'm like i had my paper right here instead i do it with my computer i have also the tools that allow me to see it in the screen and continue working uh, inside of dreamers there are many things that are made with paintings on paper like i don't know if you can start recognize what what might this be hmm. one more thing this is another painting. Here is another painting. I put them inside of my of my computer so that I could uh, make them part of an image. And here are more paintings that I made. Can you start to recognize what this might be? And this. These are the covers of some of the books that I love. Books that have been very important to me. Because when I found out that there were books, illustrated books at the public library, a place which I had never seen before until I came to the United States with my baby. When I realized that in this world and in the United States existed picture books, I fell in love with them. So for dreamers, I decided I was gonna do something that I've done since I was little, which is when I love someone, I like to make drawings of them. And I love books. These are like my family. When I first saw picture books, some of the books that I saw were books like this. And I decided to make portraits of these books and put them inside dreamers. You will. You will be able to see them once we start reading. Um, I, I made uh, paintings of other things like this leaf and see if you can see it later in the book. This one I also painted it with my brushes with acrylic paints. Um, I put the paper, paper on my table and that I did it with my brushes. The, the ones that look like, like the painter brushes. But then I took a photograph with my scanner of this, put it inside of my computer, and then I start working it with this other brush. You see, it's a, that's a different brush. This is this is more um, like a, an electronic pencil or pen that allows me to move things in my computer and clean them, erase. I can erase as well, but I do it in my computer rather than do it directly on the paper. Um, and I have many, many drawings that I made. I put them inside my computer. And so then Dreamers is a combination of things that I painted on paper, things, photographs that I took and drawings that I made 
with ink on paper, and then I put all of that together as if it was a rompecabezas. A rompecabezas means a puzzle. Um, do you think that we should read Dreamers right now? And then at the end, I will show you a few more things that you might be able to see inside this book. Uh, I, yesterday, I received a video and I hope they, they told me that I can share it now. So I'm gonna be posting it later of a um, little girl reading my book in the language of, uh, I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, so Sotosuhil, so so uh, I'm gonna check the, the pronunciation so I can tell you this the, the name of this language correctly. But this is a language that is um, spoken in Guatemala. And it's such a great reading because what she, this little girl did is that she took my, my book Soñadores and read it as in Spanish as I, it is written in, in Soñadores. And then she read it to the elders in her village, to the women in her village. And she read it in the language that they understand. Which is not Spanish, it's not English. It's a language that is uh, spoken in some uh, communities of Guatemala. And you might have some, uh, some of you uh, here in this classroom might, might be able to understand that reading because perhaps you speak those languages. Um, many of you speak more than one language. There are some people who speak English, I speak English, even though it sounds like this, but I speak English, I speak Spanish, um, I speak also the language of books, of children's books, of picture books, because this is also a way to communicate things. And in wanting to communicate, I wanted to tell a story. I wanted to tell a story of how it's like as I lived it, as I recognize it, as I know how it feels to be an immigrant, to be a person who is born in one place and then goes to another. How do you feel when you go to a different place? And now how do you feel if you don't speak the same language and nobody can understand you? How do you feel if you cannot make yourself understood so nobody can tell you like, yes, you are right or no, you are not right. I know that I felt sometimes as if, as if I wasn't there because what the things that I had in me that I wanted to others to know, I couldn't, I couldn't show them, I couldn't tell them. And picture books is a way that it's a language that I learned that I knew that I could tell things through books. And that's why I make books like Dreamers and where I put words and I put images because this is my way also of telling you stories. And we are gonna read Dreamers. And this is by Su Servidora, Yuji Morales. I just take off the jacket. The jacket is this wrap that goes inside the book, that goes on, 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 on top of the book. And as you can see also, here is an image for the jacket of the book. And then it is a slightly different image for the inside, uh, but it's called the cover of the book. So this is how it starts, Dreamers by Gigi Morales. And remind me to show you later something that um, um, a reader told me that I had not noticed about the jacket. Remind me, because I wanna show it to you. Mm. And it begins like this. And this is Dreamers by Su Servidora Yuji Morales. Let me get position better so that everybody can see it. 